chat. Everything is just breaking. Everything is breaking. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh my god. Saffiro tea time? What the heck? You changed your name? What the heck? Alright, let me say hi to everyone. I'm sorry if I don't get everyone. I had to restart my computer. Uh, it's been a long 30 minutes. Everything was going good until 30 minutes ago, to be honest. Um, I don't know why all the scuff just started happening. Hopefully that's it. Oh my god. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, welcome in, Makai. Welcome in, Ray. Congrats on first today, Ray. Both times, actually. Uh, welcome in, Biggie. Welcome in, D10. Welcome in, Dark. Dark. Uh, uh, thank you for the lurk. Enjoy the ride home. Be safe. Welcome in, Rebelman! Welcome in, Hot! Welcome in, Deco! Welcome in... Welcome in, Lane! Also, B! Thank you so much for the read, I appreciate it. That, that game you were playing was looked really fun. The game looked really fun, I might have to try it. Let's get a shout out for B. You don't know B? Oh, thank you. You guys just barely uh, did it before me. Let's see, let's see. Uh, be a silk Uh, be if you need to go do any birthday things, you go go get you that chicken parm. Yeah, you go you go do that. Go get you some cake if you need to. You know, you know. <laughs> um, but yes, chat, it's B's birthday. Tell her happy birthday right now. Happy birthday to B. Happy birthday to B. Happy birthday, dear B. Happy birthday, dear B. <laughs> it's B's birthday, let's go. We enjoy the bee here. Let's see, let's see, let me catch up, let me catch up. Welcome in Taryn! Um, welcome in Zapporo. Welcome in Otto! Welcome in Marb! Uh, Marbuccino! Let's go on down, scroll on down, scroll on down. Yeah, I hope, I hope me restarting. My computer didn't screw up any, uh, watch, watch, uh, watch, watch, watch streaks, yes. I don't know why, why I was about to say watch times. Watch streaks. Welcome in Howling, good to see you. Bum, bum, bum. Welcome in Wakai, yeah, I, I give up the headset thing. It was already really annoying. I'm not going to try to mess with the YouTube thing. I'll fix it tomorrow. I'll fix it tomorrow. It'll just be a exclusive Twitch stream today, apparently. Let it be known that stream broke before the chat did. Um, maybe don't worry about it. Some days technology just decides to not, just not. Yeah, my my headset was working fine, and then I started stream, and it was like, nope. I'm just I'm just gonna need to be be a hard. I just need a hard reset right now. I just need to be turned completely off and back on again, so um, after restarting a few things and I couldn't figure it out how to, how to call Hudo in here because he's he's the big brain of the house and uh, he went and clicked the, the reset button on my headset that was in a super tiny hole, so yeah. And then it worked again, so thank god, thank god my headset didn't, didn't uh, bite the dust. That'd be a really bad timing. Oh, Zavaro, thank you for the 40 uh, stream watch stream. Thank, thank you. It didn't break, heck yeah. I like me some apple juice, heck yeah, let's go. Uh, can I have a fa fancy shout out? Heck yeah. Do, 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 do. Hello, Dila, welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Yamamoto, welcome in as well. Avet San, welcome in, welcome in. I was confused at the earlier streaming gone. Oh yeah, my my headset broke and I, I couldn't really start stream without my headset. So I was like, okay, well, uh, uh, I tried this, it no work. And maybe uh, I try restart PC, that didn't work. So I had to completely hardware reset my my headset. What's well, omelet rice? It's like rice and then there's like a nice fluffy omelet on top of it. Very popular um, made cafe dish, and they'll do like a little little uh, spell to make your make your uh, omo rice even tastier. 
That's what the boy molecules. <laughs> Simple and tasty. Yup, yup, yup. I think they also sometimes put ketchup on it. Like, uh... Especially in anime, they'll put, like, hearts or they'll... I don't know, they just put messages on it. Sometimes they might put your name, stuff like that. Personally, I don't know how I feel about ketchup on my eggs. But I've never had omo rice before. Ketchup on rice? No, no, no. As far as I know, they, I've always seen ketchup. Them use ketchup. Ketchup on omu rice works? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a hot minute since I made omu rice and I get motivated to cook again. Aww. Um, I've never had omu rice before. I'm gonna have some authentic omu rice served by a, a, a nice maid in a cafe. I was dubious at first, but it was nice. Nice. Alright, chat, so we've been going for like, uh, 30 minutes now. What's Botany Manor? Um, I think it's a puzzle game and there's plants and you're in a manor. I have been staying away from spoilers, so... Uh, yeah, that's all I know. That's all I know. But we're gonna play it today. Um, I wanted to take some time to work on my Digimon a little bit and I was very graciously given a key by the devs to play Botany Manor and I was supposed to play it on Friday. But then minutes before stream, Girl Gang was like, hey, Honda Wordy? Ayo? And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, girls. <laughs> we'll play Honda Wordy. <laughs> hi, Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Good to see you. I'll blind play theater prep for the backseat of Gremlins to come out. Oh, no. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna play Botany Manor today. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited for Friday. Friday, we're gonna play Dishwashing Simulator. I'm so excited, chat. I'm so excited. It's I've been playing. I'm I'm addicted to that game, chat. I hate dishwashing. It's the worst chore in the world. But man, Dishwashing Simulator is so good. It's been making my brain just go burr so hard. I I I was playing it before stream. <laughs> Up until like 10 minutes before I, I was gonna go start stream. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Um, also hello servers, welcome and welcome in. I just did what did what I just did dishwashing, not so simulated. Oh man. I'm sorry. Unsimulated dishwashing is awful. Maybe I can wash my dishes to your simulated simulated dishwashing stream, basically co-working. Heck yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, oh no, I missed the, the B Day stream. Oh. oh you can still tell B happy birthday. She rated me. It's okay for me, it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to the game now because we've had enough, uh, enough, uh, scuff for one, actually for like three or four streams. So, yeah. Hopefully the game doesn't, doesn't do anything. Hello, Vuga, and welcome, welcome in. Alright, chat. To the game. Wow. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm forgetting to turn something on or something. We'll figure it out. To the wind! Eighteen ninety, Botany Manor, Somerset. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh god. Oh, this is so fast. Oh my god. I'm used to having to turn out up my sensitivity. Like I, I'm used to games going like when I move my mouse, like. But no, meow, meow, meow. Super speedy. Alright, uh. Where did my. Wait, I thought I had a little, um. Little thingy magic. Wait. So I missed that. How'd the mouse go? It went. It went meow. Usually it's like. And then it goes meow. <laughs> Alright, uh. Do, 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 do. Crosshair bigger. Please. Ah, there we go. I can see it now. Heck yeah. I forgot to read all of whatever it told me. Okay. So. I'll try not to spin around a whole bunch for you, chat. Collect parcel. 
Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset, okay. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Open. Mayflower Publishing House, dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal book proposal forgotten flora please send this empty herbarium back to us once you've completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer sincerely mayflower publishing house okay maps uh chapter one uh okay This is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna try to turn down my mouse movement. That's a bit better. That's a bit better, yeah. Alright. A fresh start, okay. Wildflowers, windmill, wart, volcanic flower. Checkered lily, meadow flower, daffodil, grassland flower, sword lily, woodland flower. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Oh, wild mar, yeah. Uh, they came in bees raid. Ideal soil temp for Mediterranean wildflowers. Okay. Uh, oh, what's this over here? Open herbarium. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Okay. Uh. What? What? Okay. What? Wildflowers? What is this? How to pot. Okay. Place pot on saucer. Add soil, plant seed, water. Okay. So, we have a pot. Scoop soil. Add seed. Seed? Hello? Seed? Seed. Seed. And then water. Aha! All right, now we need to go over here. Oh, where is it from? So I think it's a grassland flower. Wait, it's a volcanic flower. So volcanic flowers. Hello, Brew. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you. Oh, where? Where? I don't know where it's from, but it's it's one of those. From 45 to 60 degrees. Temperature chart. Okay. We need to figure something else out, chat. So this is the temperature. We need to figure out... Oh, okay. Postcard from Marianne. Oh, we can turn stuff over! I saw some Game Pass. How is, how is it? We just started. I don't know yet. Pretty good so far. Dear Cerebella, on my hike, came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Hey, we got the place. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. So it grows in Sicily. Sicily. Open heat vent. Ooh. Alright, so... What temperature is it in Sicily? 60, okay. You know, make it super hot in here. Alright, where do we put this? We put this right here? I don't know what a heat vent does, but... Hey! <gasps> oh, we did it! Hello, Venom Dragon, good to see you! Welcome in, welcome in! Oh, look, 
chat. We did it. Heck yeah. All right. Pretty flower? Pretty flower. We know where it naturally grows in volcanic soil, which requires a soil temp of 60 degrees Celsius. Blood contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Here we go, Lucia. Let's go. First one. Alright, I assume we go out here next. Garden chat. What is this? Ah, I can't jump. What the heck? That's locked. Okay. Well, we go this way then, chat. Oh, Bonnie Manor, home of the Green family. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what it is about the visuals that remind me of PS1 games. Really? I don't feel like it. Currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Okay. Boop boop. Select key. Entrance garden. Alright. Post box. Ring ring. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Maybe it's simplicity and saturated colors, maybe. Wow. Aha! We made it in. Is the audio too loud, chat? Let me know. We can turn it down a little. Down. Hey, I got much you for sitting. What? Maybe a bit loud? Okay, I turned that a bit down a bit too much. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you, uh, like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I'll never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you will take the authority of others. Oh, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I'm inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Okay. None of this means anything to me. Wait, what's over here? Orchard, that's locked. Okay. Well, chat, let's go uh, to the front door then, I guess. Luck! Oh, right, I can't jump. There's a lot. It's a very big place, Shadow. Gotta explore all the things, you know? This is locked from the other side, okay. Something hidden back here? No, okay. Well, I guess let's go through the front door. Big yawn. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh! There's a duck. Inspect the duck. Heck yeah. Got an achievement for inspecting the duck. Oh! Oh! Let's go chat another seed. What are we trying to get this time? 
My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off to London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. There's room for three pots here. But no, uh... Can I go in here? Survivors of adversity. Ta Totten to London Paddington. Issued for return journey first class. Aloha! Good to see you! Elderly discount applied. July 9th. Uh... 1890. Great Western Railway. Okay. It's over here. Lady Arabella Green. I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I've altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family. Other than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Aloha! Welcome in. Uh, I need to check something. Are you intending to stream to YouTube? Oh, wait. I, I should probably unpin that. Um, had a lot of scuff um, the past hour. <laughs> I gave up. <laughs> Let's see. So here's our tree. It's a very big tree. That's it. Okay, just wanted to confirm. Yeah. First, my headset broke, and then YouTube didn't want to start streaming. So I was like, okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm done. I'm done. I've dealt with scuff for half an hour. I'm fine. It'll be a, a Twitch stream. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Pyro... Pyrophiles? Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forests of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent wield and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved in it to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Facts about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically possess tough shells, and some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Interesting. That's the whole book. Both locked, okay. Let's go back this way. That's a pretty ugly tree we have in here. I hope it's sick or something. I hope we need to make it better, because that's, that's kind of... That's very gloomy. To have in such a very bright place. I already saw that. Let's go... Oh! Ah! Who's this? Her parents, okay. Thank you for alert, Mega! <clears throat> it looks sick, looks like it has a plague. Yo, what's this game? This is, um, Botany Manor! Oh, we got some seeds. Oh, I think we skipped a chapter? Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh heck. Wait, we skipped a chapter, chat. I shouldn't be in here yet. Blurry photograph. First, a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. Picture looks a little blurry, though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. I guess we'll have to go outside and try to find where that chapter one is. Oh, wait, that's number three. Very pleased with the picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Nice. Picture so dark impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. 
All right, so we need to go back, chat. I assume that the um, what we need goes right here. However, we haven't found the seeds yet. So, we need to look for the seeds, wherever that may be. Think old camera splash was a small explosion? So crazy. Can't believe it. I think we went that way and it was locked. We checked over here. Let's go double check over here. Plant seeds, where are you? Oh, so this goes there, okay. But this is locked on the other side, yeah. Hmm. Well, chat. Yeah, we went through this. And then we came there and then it was locked and then we came this way. Where the heck is chapter one, chat? Well, um... Was it farther back than this? Is it back here? Oh no wait, not back here. Back here? Did I just somehow walk by it? I don't think I did. Drawing from nature. Okay. Seems I did miss some stuff out here, though. No chat? So this is where we did this one. And there's the starting room. Oh. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess let's start on chapter 2 then, and then come back to chapter 1. I, uh, honestly don't know where it is. I think they'd make chapter 1 easy to find. They won't, uh, maybe they didn't want you to go in uh, order? I don't know. I've looked. I want to say I've looked everywhere. Probably haven't, but we're aware that uh, I could go. I saw that I could go. I do chapters if they don't want you to go in order, though. See, exactly. But I haven't found any seeds around here. I assume this is chapter one. Maybe this one goes in there? Well, no, this is the chapter two plant. Oh shoot, how do I open my, my journal? Yeah, we don't even have the plant yet for this one. So the girlfriend one comes after two, or wait, oh. <laughs> Dartmoor poster, pyro, photographs. Came across the Fulgur- Fulguria? When I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm, I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. So we need to put this by a fire, chat. Right by a fire. Kitchen locked. So all these doors over here are locked, chat. And then over here. I haven't checked in here yet. Oh my god. Oh heck, there's a whole bunch of chemicals. The art of painting. Useless. Okay. Okay. I can't believe there's- okay. I was gonna say, I can't believe there's nothing in this room. There's gotta be something. 
Some ancient Celtic tribes practice a coming-of-age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to find themselves worthy of staying in the tribe, or time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods. Though not just any flower, of course, the gathering had to find a fulguria, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes uh, were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay. Interesting. So we go to our journal. Folklore book in the dining room. Do -do -do -do. I don't want to sit in the chairs. What is this? Oh, got some glasses. Heck yeah, chat. Your new Lumen photographic flash lamp. Instructions. Fill the container with flash powder. Close it. Press the button connected to the camera and Lumen flash lamp. It's a bright flash. Okay. Is this an escape room game? No, it is not. It's a puzzle game. Oh, okay. Wait. So we have to do a picture? So it seems like we need to take a picture of that flower. Some glasses? Some glasses. However... Maybe I need to look at my notes again. I'm gonna learn how to concoct flash powder, chat. We already go up here? No, we didn't. Alright, what's in here? Okay, the balcony. Blocked by the tree. <laughs> Let me in, shake a locked door. Okay. I wish I could jump. Alright. Casual Griffin showing off her house's living room. Very expensive. Griffin is mighty successful. If only. Let's see, where did we put that plant? Oh, we have it in here, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't water it, though. I don't know how to- it won't let me use the watering can. Right. So maybe it'll grow and bloom there? Put that right there, I guess. What is this? What is this? What is that? What is that? What does that do? I think I put something there. Oh, hey, a key! Let's go. Back terrace, nice. So chat, we need to figure out how to make flash powder. This. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Oh. Screens passage. Doo -doo -doo. So I don't think. I don't think it's a pyrophile. This one seems different. Hello, Slavino! Welcome, welcome, in. good to see you! It's been a while. Chemical disposal. Let's go to the back terrace, chat. Back terrace. Back terrace. Aha! Remember where the door was? Heck yeah! Walk from the other side. Still can't use the watering can. There, 
why did someone leave a sandwich here? What the heck? Who left a sandwich there? Flowering plants, Great Britain, and Brett. Okay. That's a comfy looking bench right there. Let's continue. What? <laughs> Nani? Okay. Oh, we found another seed chat. Seed log. Summary of some seeds I've gathered this year in locations I found them at. Cow parsley, blackdown hills, poppy, cheddar gorge, buttercups, steert marshes, ash plume, wisman's wood, wood anemone, Holford comb, uh, wild thyme, coldborn wood, or coldbone wood, and foxglove, ford abbey. Oh. Ash plume, that's the uh that's the pyro one. Uh seed log? Yes. What did they say? Yeah, ash plume. They didn't say the other one, right? Yeah, they didn't say the Fulgaria. Or Fulgoria. Animal garden, that's locked. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decoration all my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family. My garden is full of the darling little creatures. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. Hello, Zio Poster. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. A wild time, eh? A little puns around here. Oh, door. Oh, locked from the other side. Okay. I wasn't sure how we were going to open that with no uh, handle anyway. Wouldn't have been easy, that's for sure. Alright, let's see anything over here. Alright. Yeah. Key for the kitchen! Thursday. Hazel Patterson kitchen notes. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be, be may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She's so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shoppings. Flour, eggs, milk, leek, pota leeks, potatoes, carrots. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. That was useless. Uh, but we got the kitchen key, so I guess let's go in there. I still have no idea what to do with those plants we found, chat. I know one of them likes fire and one really likes thunderstorms. We're, we're figuring it out slowly, though. Still haven't even found the, uh... Drop more? Ah! Wistman's Wood! I think that's where the, the lady went. Um... Here. Yeah, to, um... The Ash Bloom Flower. I think that might be it, though. That one's definitely full, the Fulgoria. Uh, the photographs? What were the photographs? I didn't really actually look at the photographs. I just saw flower. Mm. Hmm. That doesn't look like either of those. Yeah, that flower doesn't look like either of those. Uh... Okay. Flash lamp manual? Uh, okay. We're gonna go to the kitchen. While uh, my brain thinks on those two. Wait? Mysterious symbol, okay. Wait.
points so they want me to put the weights on here but we have to put something over here don't we or are we not trying to make it even haven't checked the kitchen yet History of Dartmoor, given by a residential natural history professor. Let's see. The professor will present how the moon was once covered in majestic forests and woods. Oh, how the moor! I was like, at the moon? Early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire. Oh, heck, fire. It's their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Broken mortar. Yeah. Kinling. Dear lady, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, consider to pursue, pursue your hobby tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. What the heck? So rude. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John Alteringham. What the heck? Yeah, that's right. Kinling. Kinling. Alright, well... Where are we going? What is this? Someone special. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. One regards, Mr. Bennett. The ancient oak stands tall in Wistman Woods, covered in moss. They withstood the test of time. None can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wistman Woods. Oh, another duck. Where's Linda? I'll pick up all the ducks, chat. Every single one of them. Right, now we're here. Whoa! Logs, okay. So there's something with logs. Home smoking and carrying. Okay. Using the home smokery, the type of wood to use in your smoker is of great importance, though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of trees produce different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your logs with care. Okay. So that's definitely for this smoking book. Nothing in these boxes? Okay. Mmm, smoke food. Let's go. So... We need to go get the plant! Oh, we need to go get the plant, chat. We're so far from the plant. wasn't in here, it was uh, in... Oh, that's the front door. It was in here. Yeah, yeah, In... Wait! Wait! Wait, 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 It was in here. It was right over here. Over here. Over here! Ah! Oh, wait, we need another plant. Oh. Put soil in it. Plant an ash plume. Don't need any water, do you? I don't think so. Then go to the kitchen. We're just gonna go put all the wood in. Do -do -do. Oh, wait, not this way. Can I set you down somewhere? Can I put you right there for a second? I wanna see what this does. Oh, yeah. 
we supposed to do? It's doing something. Don't know what that's for. We'll figure it out. Grab my plant again. Wait! I can't read that. Bless this kitchen. Bless this each room. To those who serve the word, they serve the gifted. Okay. Doesn't seem important. I don't have to put this. <gasps> I can put this in the pan. Oh! We did a chat. Let's go. We germinated it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hello, Golly! Welcome and welcome in. Good to see you! Hope you're having a wonderful day. He, him like this room. Him like the fire. We're gonna try Oak Log. Wait, does this game have plants? I think it does have- Oh! First try! Let's go! Grow the phoenix of the forest. The ash bloom. The ash bloom is a pyrophile evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seed cracks open with extreme heat and afterwards the oak smoke from its habitat indicates it's safe to bloom. Let's go chat. Um... I don't know what to use. Huh? Hmm. Just gonna reset all of these. Wait, the folklore one was right. The this one is wrong. I think this one is wrong. So, folklore book, uh, not the photographs. Alright. Hello, Jambola! Welcome and welcome and good to see you! So we got that one, chat. Now we need to go figure out this little guy over here. Oh, what was that? Is it the door? I think it was just the door. Okay. For the Lurk Alley Gaming, I gotta uh, lock in and have a good stream. I hope you have fun with the gaming. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the Lurk, I appreciate it. So where did we put that other plant shot? Wait, 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 wait. Um, we put that plant... Yeah, we put that plant in here. In the, um... The room over here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we put it right over here. Oh! It's in the right place! I think? It... Does it just do that where anywhere it sits? No. Is there a place in here I can set it? No, okay. It's interesting. That it does this. Like, developing nothing. Okay, I'm kind of lost now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, 
Create a faulty mix of chemicals. Heck yeah. Alright. I don't know how to make flash powder though, game. You haven't told me as far as I know. That just talks about flash powder. Doesn't say what's in the flash powder. Hmm. Done with that one. That's locked. Am I already stuck, chat? Gunpowder? Uh, I guess so. Looking for flash powder. Here's all the, the stuff I have. I think it was like sulfur and something else. Sulfur, maybe phosphor? Um... I'm probably way off. Oh, I didn't even close it. I want to live in this house. What do you mean, Bunny? This is your house. It's the perfect house for Bunny. Magnesium burns bright? Is it just magnesium? I'm getting a whole heck of a lot of magnesium. Just a whole, a whole flask of magnesium. Nope. Was not it. Oh, I, we're trying to do chat. We're trying to simulate the, um... Lightning strike! I see, I see. The flash of the lightning strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that doesn't help here. Okay. Hmm. Ah! We were close, chat. Potassium and magnesium? Maybe? What? What? Is it... Mm. Ah. Okay. Apparently, we needed two things of potassium. Whoa! Let's go check. We certainly don't have the, um, the clues for it, though. The fulgaria only grows during thunderstorms with the flashes of lightning provide the bright light. The flower needs to bloom because of its dangerous growing conditions, though many people have witnessed its beauty. Oh, thank you for the lurk and hello. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. 
Hmm. Need the flashlamp. We need the photograph. I guess. Huh? Nope. Those two at least were. Photographs one might be wrong as well. But. Uh, yeah. Oh! Gatehouse delivery? Okay. Also, yes, if anyone wants to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, check out my YouTube, or my throne, now my links in chat, and there's my guard. Apple to the gate chat! We got delivery! 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 Wait, wrong way! Delivery! Mookie to the orchard. Ooh, I don't know where that that door is. The orchard. I love this garden chat. It's so pretty. So pretty, so pretty. Is it over here? Orchard. Yeah, first try. Oh. Peculiar petals. We still haven't found the first chapter chat. Two new plants added. Okay. We're missing... Oh, chat! It's... The, the clues... It says where the clues are. Okay. Let's go back inside. Let's get all the clues. Before we move on. Also, wait. Conservatory? Oh, wait, we, made, we did do chapter one, I think. Yeah, 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 I think we did do chapter one. It, so chapter one was a windmill work, and then this, I guess, just threw me off a lot. So now we're in chapter two, and we need to find the rest of these clues in the kitchen and the drawing room. I don't know what the drawing room is, um, but yeah. So we need to go to the kitchen. And whatever the heck a drawing room is. So, kitchen. I assume the kitchen one is this. What? How much do we need to... Razor fly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling it up, sure. I can't figure it out. Oh, wait, we haven't seen this. For the home farm workshop in every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. Simple recipe perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnut. They're easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place nuts in a pan over the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. Interesting. Alright, so that's for... This guy? Cooking book. Yeah, that's for that guy. So we got the... One in the kitchen. So we just need the drawing room. Wait! Folklore book and the flash lamp manual were in the drawing room. So we need to go find those again. But I don't remember where those were. <laughs> okay, so... Flash lamp manual. And... Folklore book. That's the back terrace. Um, 
Mm, not that book. Is it in here? Ah! Lady Arabella, these past weeks I've been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely. So I think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I'd advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. Okay. Oh my god. Chat. Watson's flash powder. I, I should have looked just right behind. It was right behind the camera, chat. Bottle contains 75 grams flash powder. Two potassium to one magnesium ratio. All right. All right. I was just being silly. So here's this. There's all of those. Now we just have to find the last two for this one. But there's no more clues here. We got all the chapter two clues. So I guess let's go to chapter three in the orchard. I'm having fun, chat. I like puzzle games. This one seems like a different type of puzzle game. I must sit. Ah, it was a good sit. Okay. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved Piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They're charming as well as educational. Don't take no offense should they put your little ones straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. Puzzlers are meditative. I wish there were more of their room. I don't know what their room is. What is that? The foxglove. On the mountaintops so steep grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit. Cheeks glow. With every step, they hear it loud. The wolf gloves howl, clear and proud. Guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Nice. So, Foxglove grows in cold, cold, cold weather. It's probably the next one we're gonna be getting shot. What this? New door! Pets. Pixie tears. Far closely associated with orchards. Orchards, I wonder why. Okay. What is this? Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. Notes on soil additives. Okay. Um. Wait, this is for the kitchen. But I don't know what kind of pot it is. I don't know what kind of pot it is. I'm gonna take a screen... screenshot of this. Hello, Brittany! Welcome in, welcome in! Welcome in, Zell as well! Hope you're having a wonderful day. Alright, I'm just gonna... Keep that. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. A mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried making sure there's fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need them to grow or need it to grow. I'll visit you sometime and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Tucker Esquire. Hello, hey, Ron! Welcome in as well! Hello, hello! Hope you're having a wonderful day! Thank you for the hydrate! I need it. So much reading! Oh my gosh. Oh. Lady Arabella, I've received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I'm not the man to undertake this task. I may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. 
It's uh, believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legends say the spirit is evil, brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost and advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willie the Builder. Okay. Alright, let me hydrate really quick, chat. Ah, good water. Oh, Tower Wind Research. Oh no, the imposter's back. Where's Griffin? Oh heck. Wind speed of 35 F. F over S? I don't know what F over S is. On the third floor. Wind speed of 50 on the second floor. Why do they have other windows open? Wind speed of 45 on the fourth floor. 20 on the first- wait, so it goes 20, 50, 35, 45, wait. Okay, so it depends on which windows are open. So, on test 3 out of 6, the 4th floor has 45, but on test 5 of 6, the 4th floor only has 40. And wind speed of 25 on the fifth floor. Somehow half my an anemometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. No, you're just being a silly goober. Opening and closing all those windows. The Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration. Hey! Let's see. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It's advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with uh, and sturdy boot bleh, sturdy boots with a good grip. Flaps, oh, face palm, feet, feet per se wait. Wind, f wind is measured in feet per second. I don't. That sounds weird. That sounds a little weird. Oh, there's this. Oh, we got a key to the painting room. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery, or, or orangery, orangery collapsed in your absence. I've already written to the builder in the hope he wants to sort it out, though as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. To apologize if this is getting in the way of your research, I don't suppose you can find another way into the bottom level. To Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset from Maddie Golding. I can't open it. Dearest Arabella, we made it to the Alps. We're so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you're busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday, we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. Followed the sound soon enough, we discovered it. Uh, it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you'd been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend always, Maddie. Do you prefer meters per second in some backwards part of the world they still use feet? I I mean, I don't see why that it it just still seems too weird. Alright, so I have no idea about the pixie tears. Like at all. Everything I've been getting has been for the of um box club. Alright, so Painting. I'm glad we got that little uh, that door open because it would have been a pain to run all the way back in here. Meadow Orchard, Meadow Orchids Research Team, 1862. Uh, Professor John Montague and Montague Robert Brown, Arabella Green. Dear Miss Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. You have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you're set on botanical field work, you might assist Prof Professor Montague in his work on British meadow orchids. 
sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Might I also recommend uh, John Limley's book, Ladies Botany, or A Familiar Introduction to the Study of the Natural System of Botany. It's an elementary book of unscientific or for unscientific readers, and one I've heard is a suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself, being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants. Man. What the heck? Flower painting in watercolors. Why do they have all these painting books? Lady Arabella. I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett in town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one he has is rather ancient. I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. You can let me know your decision before the afternoon. That'd be lovely. In your service, Mrs. Patterson. Symbol sim Symbology. Study where in the discerning reader will find a history of the use of religious and folkloric symbols throughout the art of the world. Okay. Oh man, chat, I didn't think there was going to be so much reading. Oh. Oh. Um. That top right one. The Catholicism one. We've seen that one in the kitchen. The Ag Agnus Dei. Still don't know what that means, so or what the how to open it. My dearest Arabella, in Gardens Fair, you grace the scene of flower bear. Your presence beams with radiant light, the lily's charms pure and white. Your hands like petals, so soft and fine, and tender touch a love divine. And in your eyes a brilliance glows as daisies fair in spring's repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut, you'd be the trophy of my home with glee. I hate that that last one didn't rhyme. That bugs me. That bugs me. Got a map? Okay. Got a map, got a map, got a map, map, map. I think we're done in here, chat. Oh, wait. Kind of cool painting. Okay. I think we're done in here. She don't like haikus then? See, I... I just don't like that it rhymed the whole, the whole point up until that last line. I read those. All of these have been about the foxglove, but no foxglove yet. Oh, I haven't been here, chat. Oh wait, yes I have. Uh, for some reason I just didn't put the soil in there. We can plant a pixie tear in here. Whoa! Now what do we do? Oh, 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 oh. I think I see the fox club down there, chat. There's also a door. I don't see how we could get to it. It looks like a hidden door. Hmm. There's just a little guy. So, Pixie Tears really liked it, wherever we got this. Right here. <laughs> so it seems like we need to add something to it then. Compost bin? Uh, no, I'm good. We didn't go to the tower. We didn't go in the tower. Let's try goofing around with this, this guy. An anemometer. Anemometer. An anemometer. Uh, 
doesn't seem like there's anything up there, chat. Can I go down? Yeah, I can go down. So, hmm. Starting to get a little stuck, chat. Ah. Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. Hello, Abby. Welcome in, welcome in. Glad to see you. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. Apologize again <laughs> for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house. Although I am convinced it exists and will find it one day. It won't be easy, they tend to be hidden well, and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be opened. Kind regards, Professor Penningmere. History of England. Three souls back in the Middle Ages during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. Okay. So that means there's a secret in our house. Orchard mosaic, okay. Oh, there's a sheep. There's a sheep. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Hope you're having a good day. Chloroplasts. Advances in botanical science. Beep, beep, there's sheep. Said beep, beep, there's sheep. Beep, beep, there's sheep. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplasts, small uh, or, 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 organelles, or organ, organelles, inside the cell, cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They've lost chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their root. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil, cultivating these particular plants. Okay. Wait. Chapter 5. Soil. Tincture of iodine. Uh, what are these? Red campion. Box glove. Okay, so this one doesn't... Wait. Primrose, okay. Hyacinth. Oh, that looks like a brick wall right there. Let's see, a spring dance shrub. Pix Pixie tears doesn't have any. It looks like. Uh, blue bell. And. Cradle fern, so I think. Oh, wait, can I not pick them up? I was gonna put them back in the case. Tincture of iodine. Okay, so that seems important. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. Okay, so. No? Oh, oh, right. I thought we were gonna need to remake that or something, but okay. In the wash chat. Oh, what's this? Interesting. These are apparently all apples. Cider making and apple blending. Sugar, tannins, and acid values given per single apple. All right. There's more apple. Oh, I kind of like that apple right there. That's a pretty apple. This one's my favorite apple right here. I'm gonna put these apples all together, chat. And put them all in the box. I don't like this apple. This apple looks gross. I 
like the Merlin's Mist apple, yeah. That one's my, that one's pretty. Okay. There's more apples? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Use press? Wait, so what am I doing? Am I making cider or something? Game didn't tell me to do that. Wait... I don't know... Mm. Mm, brain isn't braining. So... We needed to put sugar in the soil of one of the plants. I assume that juicing these apples is going to be the sugar for the plant. However, I'm not sure how much sugar or um, the tannins or the acids. I'm not sure what those have to do for uh, the plant. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Welcome in Regenerative! Um, hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> I'm missing anything. We're missing one clue in the orangery, which I assume is next to the wolf glove plant. Which I don't know how to get down to because the stairs are broken. Um, I assume that the way in has to do with the Catholic priest hole um hmm but i don't know what weight it would take could try all the weights i guess but unless it does something special when i get the right weight um we won't know <laughs> we won't know <laughs> So let's go, uh, to the kitchen! To the kitchen! To the kitchen! Wait, wrong way! To the kitchen! The kitchen! To the kitchen! Orphan! To the kitchen! Because I don't, uh... There's nothing there! I don't know what it's picking up on the other side of the wall! Yeah, that's the, the Catholic thingy. So, let me grab my picture so I can look. Hmm. That bowl doesn't look very like any of my bowls. Uh... Yeah, Chad, I think I'm not getting it. I don't think I'm getting it. So let's see, 45. Yeah, that, I don't... I don't think this is it. Is that- I don't think even makes 45. Yeah, that, that doesn't make 45. That's the lowest one. Uh, so... Two, three, one. Okay. 
that's important though. This is important. Do, do, do. I am getting stuck, Janet. <laughs> oh no. I'm getting stuck. Uh, let's see, let's see. There's a door out here, right? No, 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 no. Door wasn't here. Door was in the hallway. So let's see. go down there and then there's a secret door right there chat it has the same symbol but what sort of pot we use what Combination would it need? Yeah, there's probably the note that we're missing, and there's the seeds. Uh, I'm getting stuck, Chattel. No, we have the pixie tears. I assume that it needs sugar of some kind. Uh, some amount somewhere. Thank you so much for the follow! Hope you're having a wonderful day. Four blasts. Join some sugar through their roots. A certain amount of sugar to the soil when cult cultivating them. Um. Yeah, so this book is definitely for the... Where is... Where's the book? Remember to drink 2.12 to 3 liters of water a day? Oh heck, I don't even think I- I don't even think- I don't even think I drink one liter of water a day. You drink more. Drink more water. Chloroplast book, okay. So... Thank you so much for the, um... For reminding me, yes. <laughs> Words are hard. Michael, da da, apple, cider apples. Alpine weather, wind research, letter from the builder, bot notes, nursery rhyme. Yeah, I think all of this goes to the second plant. So, the Alps. I, I think the envelope with the stamp, alpine weather, wind research. Plot notes, nursery rhyme. But one of those is, is probably wrong. Oh? Hmm. So let's grab you. Let's take you over here. To the apples. To the here. Oh wait, this is in grams. Wait, 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 wait. This is in grams, and the um, that's in grams. So what kind of? All right, we have that. We need ninety-seven grams of sugar. Ninety-seven grams of sugar. So we need a knobby russet, which is that absolutely disgusting looking one okay so there's 40 
And then we need a... How much did I say? 97? Let's see... So we need... 57, so... The Seymour's Delight and Bitter Green Streak. That's 7 and that's 5, so 57 plus 40 is 97, yeah. So Seymour's Delight and Bitter Green Streak. If we have those. So Seymour's Delight and Bitter Green Streak. Um, so they're, they're the weird ones. It's that one, right? Hello, say so. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Oh no, wait. It's not that one. It's this one. Yeah, it is this one. Okay. And then the bitter green streak, which I believe is. I believe is this one. Hey, doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? I think I got a shot. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Figured it out. Chillin' dog saving? Heck yeah, let's go. Oh, got them butterflies. Got my laptop working nice. The pixie tears no longer contain Chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the pixie tears obtain sugar through their roots, which is commonly finds in the apples from orchards. Interesting. I don't know what that poem said. Hmm. Well, it wasn't either of those things. Wait, hot note. There we go, we got a chat, let's go. One more plant down. And then this one is raw. Let's go, chat. All right. Now, however, I have no idea what to do next. Let me close my picture. There we go. Hmm. How do we get to the priest hole? <laughs> so I can actually play Uni SC while I have nothing to do? Nice! We need to get down there, chat, and for that we need that. I'm gonna go try to put everything on that silly little thing and keep checking the door. it wouldn't but Oh, 
not suitable for measuring flour. Yeah, but where's that one that talked? Where's that thing that talked about uh, the priest hole? I think it was over here somewhere. stumbling through this chat. That's the nursery rhyme right there. Do, do, do. That's... That's that. Useless. Finish that. Wait. Just double check. Okay. I don't know why that's important at all. Oh, thank you for the boba. Kind of wish I had some. Uh, hello, AK. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, priest hole, something, something. How expensive is Boba where you're at? Because it's mad pricey here? I don't even know. Okay, like $10. I'm sure it's probably the same here, yeah. I don't- I don't even know. I don't get it, um, super often. Da da da. Uh, only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location because this- I mean, it's undiscovered. Okay, wait. So, mm, how do I know? It's really expensive for Boba, dang. Hmm. Tells me about the priest hole. But no, um... I don't know how to, uh, open it. don't know what... How many ounces I need to open it. Mm -hmm. I'm about to just Google it. It's, I'm not missing any notes except for that one. Hmm. Let's see. Do 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 do. do. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. So it is where we where we know it is. Hmm. How do you even figure this out? Welcome in, Eddie. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Hmm. How the heck? Do do do. Yeah, I don't know what I missed. I don't know what I missed, chat, that told me this. But let's go... Let's go put in numbers. 
but hope you're having a good day, Eddie. Welcome in, welcome in. Got lost for a second. Alright. Haven't seen anything that uh, have these numbers on it. Ah! It's right there, chat. Constructed in 1593. Alright. Didn't think it was going to be a construction number. First try, if only. I only knew what to look for because I googled it. Duncan just got new materials for my art classic. Yeah, let's go. Show us some dusty. So dusty. Ah, chew. <gasps> Another duck. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> My Lord Green. Thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls, and for such favor, I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of Little John in his establishment of the sanctuary doth inspire awe. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray, extend my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided. Welcome respite from Brother Michael's off repeat affair of leeks and potatoes. The most earnest of thanks, I entreat that this missive shall not mark our final communion, and that our faith may endure unbroken. Here's with devotion, or blunt. Okay. Boop. Ah, fuck the wolf glove, wolf glove. Okay, and then we go over here, and we read this book. Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I join Professor Job Montague, his wife Anne Montague, and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British meadow orchids. Enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid, though upon arrival I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. Pointed this out, Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Okay. Souvenir coin. Mount Vento. Mont Blanc. Souvenir coin. Souvenir coin. The Crystal Palace. So this is probably telling us which one we need for the uh, wind or this flower. The Lady Mountaineer's Club. Oh, there's more coins. Paris, Matterhorn. Oh, hey, the horn, the horn. Um, this was the stamp. This was the stamp on the letter. Weishorn, Switzerland. Okay, so Weishorn, Switzerland. The Society for Botanical or er, Botanical Science meets every second and fourth Wednesday from six o'clock at the Assembly Rooms of Stroud. Prospective applicant must be supported by three existing gentlemen of the society, along with evidence of research showing his dedication to the advancement of the science of botany. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership to attend annual social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of laboratory investigation. Alright, shall I think I have everything to make this flower. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yes, go this way. And then we go this way. 
this way. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh, wait. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Wait, we need to go back up here for a minute. I need to look at that thingy again. Look at this right here. So, Mount Wastelorn is 40 wind speed with 1020 pressure. 40 wind speed, 1020 pressure. So, if we do this... Then on the fourth floor, we do test five, it'll be good. Also, Exu, thank you so much for the headpads, I appreciate it. Let's see, all right. Should we go this way, chat? Put him down. Move up. Close one, move up. Okay, they're both closed. Move up. Open this one. And go up one more time. Aha! We did a shot. Wait! It's 40! It wiggled! Huh? Go to the top of the tower, heck yeah. We have all we have all of the tips. Oh, okay. Right here. I know for a fact. It was the white horn, or the wise horn, whatever it is called, mount. And it said 40. Somehow my anemometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Wait, isn't isn't there a hole on the roof or something of the tower as well? No, that's what I was told though. No one would come fix it. If I'm forming a group squad, no. A uh, order to protect you? Bots, trolls, assassins, and loot girls sort of be called the Beast Squad. I'll see you on this group of weapons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome in, Night Souls. We're having a good day. Mm. See, Mount, Mount Lysorn is 40. Hmm. Because <laughs> if we go... Ah, uh, where was it? I think it was up here. Good girls, yes, you never know. Some evil girl will kidnap Griffin. 
But she's in a cup, unprotected. Griffin likes nice some cute, not so much loot, heck yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the whistling tune. And see, there's that. That stamp. The stamp has the... Has the thing. It had the coin, which is the waist... The waist... The waist... Wa waist horn. Not waist horn, which is 40 wind speed. But 10, 20 millibar pressure though? I don't know how to check the pressure. And then they said the anemometer broke, so... So much of every stuff. I've already, already shown shown my allegiance. 23 months of it, in fact. 23 months of it, in fact. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jake. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll be close that one. We open this one. I wish this. Does it have to be like 45? I don't know. Need high pressure, so maybe we go keep going up. I don't know. I don't know how to check the pressure chat. Okay, and then oh, go up some more. Oh, hello, Heaven. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. Oh, the one's not going so fast now, chat. Go up here and close this window. Go down. Darn. No, don't go up. Go down. Go down. Down, down, down. Back up for a second. And go down. And go down again. Not very strong. Oh, don't move up. Ah, I want to go look at the picture again. Look at the book. I feel like I'm close, but I'm not right there. I'm gonna go figure out what those uh, doors mean. Alright, chat. So. Test. One of six. Thirty-five. On the third floor. So we have one, we have two halves, and, and on the third floor it's 35. And then on the second one, it's 50, which has three open and one half. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm already getting confused. Um, 45 on the fourth floor. Okay. Maybe we should do the 45 on the fourth floor? Maybe? We haven't tried that one yet. 
I don't think. I think we did test five. Yeah, we tried test five, but not test four. Uh, okay. Well, I guess let's go try this one. Also, yes, if anyone wants to follow my Twitter or my Discord, check out my YouTube. They're on my Steam chat and the rest are on my card. Alright, so this first one's closed. Second one is half open. Am I opening the windows on the wrong side or something? Or does it matter? It might matter. Do this. And go back down. Let's see what it does. What am I doing wrong? I'm so... Supposedly... Supposedly we did it right, chat, but we're missing something. We're missing something. Do I need to water it? I swear to god if I... if I forgot to water it. If it's if all of this has just been because I forgot water. It would be so upset. Got a little watering can or something. Come here, you. on this and I had the right thing and I just I just ah. Ah. go up to the fourth floor and while we do that I'm gonna lurk in a bunny and issue streams alright up again third floor Fourth floor. And... Ta -da! Oh, we could have had this so much sooner. Oh my god, if I just remember to water the plant. Oh my god. Chat, this is why I own plants that you only have to water like once a week or something. I'm so upset. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I had it right all along. The very first try. I had it right. I had the windows right and everything. And it was all because I forgot to water it. The wolf glove, wolf glove grows in Mount Wasteland. Where the weather is just right. When the wind hits the, the tubular petals, a howling sound can be heard. Pioneers are familiar with the flower and use it to navigate on foggy days. Ah! No, don't go up! Don't go up! Only plants can approve of our cacti. I don't. I wouldn't say approves of. 
I like I like a bunch of plants, but the only ones that I really, that I have, um, I have a succulent and I have a bamboo plant. Or I have a whole lot of bamboo plants that are all in one pot. All right, I'm gonna go back to the greenhouse. The game's bullying me. You're super low maintenance on the watering side. Exactly. I at one point I did water my my uh, succulent too much. this way. Tried to water him every day. I was like, wait, no, I'm killing him. I'm drowning him. Oh, uh, dear sister, I'm so glad to hear you've returned safely from your travels. While you were away, I changed the code for the library door lock each time I visited. As I know, some of grandmother's valuable items are kept in the secret vault. New code for the door is the three initials of my name. Make it easier for you to remember. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Okay. What's, the, what's that other paper? What's that other piece of paper? Okay. Well, the first initial is E, chat. Two more to go. How hard could it be? I say. Right before I probably have a lot of trouble. Who is that? Oh, there it is. Elizabeth. Oh! E. A. G. Right, how do we get upstairs again? This way? Library's up here, right? So that we lock. Okay, I was wondering how far the alphabet went. Okay, she's married. She, I guess, used her other last name, which is H. Okay. E I E I O. Okay. At least I could do that on my own chat. <laughs> Thank you. Dear Lady Green, thank you kindly for the flower books that you sent for my daughters. To this day, they still show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. Keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind me putting it upon you that you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication and knowledge seems so rare and inaccessible elsewhere for young girls like mine. I hope you'll consider my proposal. Sincere regards, Olive Campbell. Me modern methods of teaching. Alright. Oh, chapter four. Chat, let's go. Study locked? Locked, okay. Just want to double check. A whole new place for me to lose at. So I've already had to Google two things. Let's start up here. New Year's Ball to be given at Somerset Hall, Thursday 4th, blah 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 blah. Oh, cousin, wash your hands and accompany me. You won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. What the heck? Screw you. The Golden Fish. One bright morning, a poor fisherman caught a shiny golden fish. The fish cried, please, let me live. Not a fish, but a prince, enchanted by a wicked spell. So, the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded the fish grant a wish in return for its freedom. A cottage instead of the hovel where they lived. So the fisherman returned to the shore, and the fish granted their wish. But the wife was greedy, and demanded riches, a palace, and servants. All the while, the ocean became darker, and the shore was black with dirt. Finally, the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes for herself. In return for this greedy request, fish revoked all of the wishes it had granted. 
After that, the ocean became blue again, the shore clean, and the fishermen never saw the golden fish ever again. Man. Poor fishermen. After the second one, he should have been like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no, I caught this fish. We're asking too much. The hare and the tortoise! Hey! At midday, a hare and a tortoise took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the tortoise struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged tortoise to a race. The tortoise ac accepted. A course was decided and the race began. The hare immediately leapt out of sight, but then lay down to take a nap, sure that the tortoise would never catch up. The tortoise plodded to Leon, making his way towards the finish line. When the hare awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes, just in time to see the tortoise crawling slowly across the finish line. The proud hare had been so sure that he would win, and underestimated the tortoise. The tortoise crossed the finish line, he exclaimed, Slow and steady wins the race! Ha ha ha! The fish turned the wife into a genie and sealed her in a magic lamp. Exactly, that's honestly what should have happened. Steal sealed her in a clam under the ocean. Been like, bad human, bad. E-I-E-I-O. Okay, uh... Uh, uh, so, huh? What? This has something to do with the stories we just read. We're missing one. A fox? And the crow? Oh, shoot. What are people saying about me? One evening, a fox was in search of something to eat for dinner. Sounds about right. Okay. He saw the crow sitting on a tree branch, holding a big piece of tasty cheese. Oh, heck yeah. Cheese? Let's go. A whole big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So, the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to the crow and complimented her shiny black feathers. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed on the cheese. Fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all birds, with a big, strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak must make. It must be the song of a queen. Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it. Flattered by the praise, the crow forgot all about her suspicion, and also her dinner. So she opened her beak wide to utter her loudest, Gah! Down fell the cheese straight into the fox's open mouth. Would've laughed at the crowd of pickle strawberry? No. No. The only... The only... Incorrect piece, I would say, of the story... The crow was a girl. The crow was a cute girl. In the story, the crow's a boy. The crow's a cute girl. The crow's gonna be a cute girl. Then, then if it was a cute girl, I, I probably wouldn't have taken the cheese, so... Hmm... Sit in space... Oh, those are pretty. Oh, what do we got here? Wonders of the night sky. Okay. What do I do with these? What do I do with this? Um... Uh... <clears throat> Okay, the fish, and this, uh, hair, crow, more? No? Okay. You've been fantasizing about being fed cheese by a cute crow girl? Oh heck. Oh heck, oh heck. Wait. Oh, we have four in here. We have four plants in here. Patient attic, master bedroom, study, grandma's vault. Okay. That's a lot of clues. I thought, you know, chat, we got halfway, like, more than halfway through this game. Just based off the chapters. And I'm like, man, am I gonna have to start something else after this game? But I don't know if we're even gonna finish it with how long this, this one is. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for the headpats. Hmm. So I don't know what the uh, order they go in, chat. Right. 
rising sun. Hope you've been doing well. I have. I hope you have as well. Been almost three hours yet? Uh... A little, little under that, but yeah. I tried to start at, at six, but uh... Didn't, didn't let me. I think I heard that it took someone four hours to beat this game. So these are all Aesop's fables. Is it like in the order that they were created? Because these don't have... These don't have anything on them. And I can't see a distinction on any of them. I'm not seeing like a number or anything. Hmm. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 I might have figured it out, chat. Uh, hello, Goo, welcome in, welcome in, good to see you. You're having a wonderful day. Okay. Okay, I think, I figured it out, chat. Okay. Okay. I got it, I got it. Sunset 1st of May, red, orange, yellow, pink. Sunset 22nd of May, blue, yellow, pink, orange. Sunset 8th of July, blue, purple, pink, orange. Those are pretty. I like this one the most, I think. Well, this one's kind of pretty too. Those are both pretty, but I like that one the most. The London Record. Weekly Journal of Literature, Literature Science, and Art. Me lurkies, I have a headache. Thank you for the lurku. I hope your headache goes away soon. Lindley appointed chair of Botany at University College London after an esteemed early career as assistant secretary, the secretary to the Horticultural Society and admission as one of the youngest ever fellows to the Linnean Society. John Lindley plans to uh, elevate the science of botany. He spoke thus in his inaugural lecture. It has been very much the fashion of late years in this country to undervalue the importance of this science and consider it an amusement for ladies rather than an occupation for the serious thoughts of men. And they also challenged the Linnean classification system and proposed many changes. Oh, 14th of October. Green, blue, pink, orange. 29th of April. Purple, red, orange, and yellow. Okay. Those. I'm sure this next one has something. Oh, we got a key. Study. Nightfall progress. I've been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. I'm determined to prove it's more than just a myth. So far, I've deduced that the flower opens at sunset, only during a particular time of year. When exactly that occurs still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow. And continue my research. Is that the only page? Yes. So. Uh -huh. The nightfall. Oh, it's shaped like a moon. Oh, you can't see the, the, um... The seed is shaped like a little moon. Alright. Do 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 What do I do with these seeds? We oh, go to the study. Go to the study. Wait, where's the study? Oh, there's the study. Hello, George. Welcome in. Welcome in. I show up and you seem sleepy with that big yawn. Oh yeah, I'm always sleepy. 
Meadow Orchids of Britain, Professor Montague, assisted by our brow. Wait, our name's not even on it. What the heck? The nightfall grows at nightfall. Whoa, who would have guessed? Uh, my dear friend, I've been pondering these last weeks what could be the best way to see a remarkable flora reach the wider world since it's so seldom we're able to see our work published. Considering your uncle's reputation in the scientific field, have you considered asking him to publish publish your herbarium under his name? You know, I'll give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it'd be a way to reach your goal of adding to the scientific record on botany. Do consider it. I would hate for such important research to stay hidden away. Warm regards, Aunt. So maybe we- maybe this is our book. Maybe that's our book, and we just weren't allowed to publish it under our name. Uh, Arabella, I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. Once I recall, or one I recall was a favorite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, tell the secretary you are collecting materials for your uncle. As long as they return before summer ends, the other professors won't notice. Best of luck with your research, Uncle Theodore. Mushroom food sources. Just like plants, fungi need food sources to grow strong and healthy. However, some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil, have evolved to retrieve it in different ways. Oh. This means they've become carnivorous. Carnivorous! Because they only acquire the nutrients they need by consuming other living organisms such as flies, bugs, and plants. Some mushrooms even get their nutrients from feeding on another type of fungus or parasite. Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they are consuming the tree, so you should remove them immediately, but not always the case. Got fungi. Sapphire gloom. Chomp chomp, not very fun, guys. Alright, let's see. Tree diseases. If a tree is infected with red tree pox, many small red spots will be visible on the bark. It can usually be cured by adding fertilizer to the soil of the tree. Hy Hypoxalon. Hypoxalon causes black, black patches to form on the bark of a tree. It's usually a sign that the tree is lacking in hydration and won't stay alive for much longer. Oh. Uh, tree disease. Root parasite. The root parasite is a fungus that forms purple rings on the bark and roots. The parasite leaches the nutrients that the tree receives from the soil. Eventually, it causes the tree to dry out and lose all of its leaves. There's currently no known cure. Bark rust. Bark rust is a disease that isn't very harmful to the tree. It's usually caused by excess hydration and too much sunlight. I feel like this is important, but uh, not currently figuring out uh, why. Why are there eggs? Why are there eggs? That's a lot of eggs. What do you. Oh, that's a pretty egg. That's. For someone that studies plants, that it's kind of weird to have a thing of eggs right there. Um. You know, I'm seeing a whole lot of plants and a big lack of pot, where to pot them. Do I have to go out here to pot them? The sapphire gloom fungi. Ah, water it. Can I put you, like, over here real quick, little guy? Plant the nightfall. Water it, so I don't forget again. Alright. Wait. Wait, 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 the tree was sick, chat. The tree was sick. Oh, that's real fast. That's real. F I don't think it happens that fast. I was shouting at the screen. <laughs> oh. Hopefully not for very long. I, I know how uh, how I can get sometimes with puzzle pieces. <laughs> uh, the sapphire gloom is a wildly misunderstood mushroom. It glows. It grows commonly on trees and has 
As opposed to popular belief, the mushroom consumes its parasites rather than the tree itself. Uh, okay. Mushroom book and tree diseases. Wait! It said tree diseases. There we go. Okay, we got we got the two. Alright, we, 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 we did that one shot. Okay. Sunset painting, grandma's research. A birthday? What do birthdays have to do with anything? I don't understand. Um... Dartmoor lecture and poem? I wish I could just... I wish I didn't have to go back to the stuff. Alright, nightfall. Yeah, taking you up here. I wish I could just read stuff that I've read before in the, uh... in my little, little journal. You like this one, little guy? You like this one? What about this one? You like that one? Oh. He doesn't like any of these. There's no other pages. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know where to put him. Let's look around, chat. We'll look around for a nice little radiant of something. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. <laughs> She's being really loud. <laughs> So, just continue. Where to put this? You know, for a plant that only grows at nightfall, it's been day this whole time. Set you right there. Let's see. Oh wait, 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 Trapped fairy? Okay. My plant with me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'll set you back down. Dearest Arabella, uh, I was taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a site that I just had to write uh, to you about in the water. I saw the brook chalice blooming. I've never seen or heard of it uh, flowering before. None of my books mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what would have caused it? Ever your friend, Edith. Taking a walk around along the river in Somerset. Um, in the water. So it requires running water, potentially. Cradle fern. Oh, the cradle fern cradles eggs! I see. And it was the egg that I like, okay. So we have to do a cradle fern. Nah, that's what the eggs are for, okay. Boop. Oh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during a research meadow orchid research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. You dedicate your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. 
I look forward to future collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I'll put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Most sincerely, Professor Montague. We'll be under the key to the attic. Maybe that's- oh, well, maybe the attic's where we put the- the night- well. Health and safety warning- oh god. It's been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been illegally dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Okay, so... The, uh, whatever it is, flower likes rust. Or iron. The river somewhere. River Chu, River Cam, the river Frome was also affected by the waste. Though oddly the river is completely clear of the rust pollution, we are still researching what led to that effect. Uh, we're swimming this season. We want to make sure you all enjoy swimming this summer, so we've cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, River Chu, and the River Summer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Co. Thanks for your continued support. Alright. Here, Arabella, I'm ready to share with you an exciting discovery I've made in my botanical studies. Turns out some plants are particularly sensitive to sound, seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share most of my findings with you in the near future, and would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Your sincere friend, Marianne. Okay. Rivers of Somerset. The River Axe, Parrot, Yon, Ton, Frome, Brew, Cam, and Summer. Uh... But we don't know which river she was at, do we? Along a river. A river. Brook Chalice. Okay, so we need- we need to know what river that was, though. Okay. It was one of these rivers. Oh! Hmm. That's the sound thing. That's useless. Ring bell. Bird calls. Shoveler duck, blue horn, shell duck, pintail. Okay. Old mellow crested owl, silver magpie, red billed moorhead, tufted duck, teal. Okay. So these are for the um the cradle fern. What's over here? Oh hey, a bedroom. Automatic or aquatic weed removal. You have a pond, you want to swim in it, it's covered in slimy weeds. We're specialized in removing falling weeds. Make an appointment today. Uh, Somerset Society for Wildlife Protection offers a petition to be presented to the Honorable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset Rivers. Tragically, this led to the decline, even extinction, of some bird species. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. Wait, so... There's also... They also like bird calls? Okay. Uh, ask they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No, ex no expense attends signing. Fatal fern, let's go. The past year, these friends have drastically kind on the banks, so I feel compelled to research any changes in their environment. The Trapped Fairy of Folktale Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of the time, and the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punish the little fairy. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. 
But just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Okay. Oh, cat. Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. Well, disappointing. I'm not sure if I'm not sure it's worth a pursuing scientific study in such places. My recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around, had barely basic knowledge of plants and to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party. All useful time and erudition was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plant another chip of our own. Perhaps we can see these specimens in their home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Okay. Or another door. So many doors, chat! Arnica flower. For sprains, strains, and joint pains. Tincture of red clover. Chamomile and red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. Okay. Bath one. Not another pipe puzzle, chat! Not another pipe puzzle! Why do I- Oh, why do I have to- Why do I play games with pipe puzzles? Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Let me set this pipe down. That's right, put it in the- Wait, bathtub? Is it a bathtub? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Not another pipe puzzle. Installment of disconnected pipes, steel and belly because our quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us. It's a complex job. Best left to the professionals. Have a nice day for rhetoric. Oh. 14. S. Silver. Oh, there's the last one. Number 30, bath geyser. Fred's wrap, flow of hot water, simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. Be used multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Yeah, should I figure the, the pipe out? <laughs> Go. So. Have we found the cradle fern plan? I think we have. Cradle fern? What there? So I'm pretty sure this guy. Wants to hear the bird call of the... Gotta go to the study. Where's the study? Wait. Wait! What's the attic? I need the study! Study! Where are you? The crested owl. We need the crested owl chat. Wait, that, that's the attic. I don't want to go in there quite yet. I'm gonna go this way. This is a really big place, chat. So the crested owl is E C D E G F. E C D E G F. Nice. That one's pretty chat. Wait, but okay, I was about to say it didn't it didn't do the the book thing. Okay. Okay, it had me it had me worried for a second. Cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest and in turn the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime like call to grow. Bird eggs. What are about weeds? Maybe? Bird calls. Letter about melodies. No, not the petition. Letter about melodies. And... River poster? River trust? That guys or no? Calls. Solved it without marking down a single clue. Yep. Uh, what is this last one though? Uh... 
petition? I guess, because... Uh, uh, I don't... Petition? Okay. The Brook Chalice. Okay. The Brook Chalice... Wait. The Brook Chalice... Um... Hmm? Words. Fairy painting. I think those two go to the Brook Chalice River Trust. River Trust? River Poster. Bath Geyser. Fairy Story. Leader Mobile? Government notice? Weeds? No, no, no. Reset. Let's go over here. Um, letter about weeds. Government notice. Leader mobile? Alright, so... Let's try to... Oh, wait. Yeah, we need one there. I think, if I got all the other ones right. The bird chalice, let's go get that one. I still haven't figured out where to put the nightfall yet. Probably the attic. Alright. Flower growing companion. Gardening curiosity, trapped moths. Sometimes a moth can come trapped inside a flower bud. Uh, if it closes in the morning, the moth is then forced to use the flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods during the year, so if the moth's unlucky, the fla flower bud won't open again until many months later. Oh, okay. That feels bad, man. Oh, moth spotting calendar. Oh my god. Whoa, there's none in- none in March? This is cool. I like this. Moths of England. Okay. So we're gonna need something about a moth. Right. Oh, wait. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. The nightfall goes here, chat. The nightfall goes here. I knew it was gonna go in the attic. Where's where's my little guy? Put oh, my little guy somewhere up here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Probably shouldn't put the nightfall in, in a window. Oopsie. You go right there. Center stage. Side of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in the leaves and stems, which allows them to see the color of lights. This means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time that flowers bloom is different for each flower. But most do appear to respond to light and color light in some way. Horticulturists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming any time they like. Yes, I knew that. So let's go here. Add that uh, site of plants. Okay, so one of these is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. I said this is wrong. Oh my god. This is probably wrong. This is probably wrong. These are not wrong. So... Site of plants. Reset. And then fairy stories. All right. I assume the moths also have to do with it, but... My dear niece, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I have arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He's a successful... He is successful in business in London. Your cousin William and Thomas may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it's better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life, which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valued, should you have a son. It would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I'm confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours very sincerely, and Agnes. Okay. Botanists Digest. This month, conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids. Every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover some of those mysteries. Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of meadow orchids and other botanical wonders. Do do do, had nothing short revolutionary, including discoveries of a new species such as the Dactyloriza Montague or Hood Marsh Orchid. 
I think he stole our, our find, chat. What the heck? What is this game? I need this. Chalice. Water. I don't know what river it was in though, chat. That's the only... Oh, the only one I, I don't know. So we're gonna have to change the temperature, I don't know, from... 5 to... 25? Somewhere between 5 and 25, I guess. Watered it, right? Yes, okay. Somewhere between 5 and 25 Okay. Flush the toilet. Heck yeah. Oh wait, fill the bath. That's the one I wanted. Hmm, yummy. So it's not 5. Again. Oh, oh, their 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 bathtub's broken. Is it ten? Nope, not ten. Fifteen. Nope. Twenty, per chance. That poor rusty pig. Grow, grow, grow. Oop. 25 it is. This is growing, oh my god. Look at that. Alright. Well, um, book. We all good? Brook chalice prefers to grow nervous with a temp of 25 degrees Celsius. Plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often, as most people prefer their ponds to be weed-free. Oh. Ta we have all of these. So, fill in the moth poster. Moth calendar and trapped moths. Hey, We're almost to the last chapter chat! Let's go! Uh, we just need to figure out the nightfall, which I, uh... Hmm. That one's gonna be hard. Not this way. This way. So... Here's the moths. I need to go read that story. Wait, wait, wait. The trapped fairy. It's brown and white and then ladybug? Garden tiger moth. Garden tiger moth. Let's go. Where's the garden tiger moth? Let's start at March. 
Garden Tiger Moth. Oh, September! Hello, Kevin! Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So we need to go back over here. Go in here. September, September, September. That's not September. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Which way? I'm losing my way, chat. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Let's go, chat. We got this. Seeing the nightfall bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms with September sunsets. Night pollinators active in September, such as the garden tiger, often get trapped once the bud closes for the rest of the year. Heck yeah. Chapter five. Last chapter. Let's go. How do we... I assume something... Yep, someone comes to the gatehouse. Do -do -do -do. Let's go to the gate, chat. It's not a horror game, right? Nope, it's a puzzle game. Gotta go to the gatehouse. What do we got? A new key? A formal? Garden. Okay. A formal garden. Where is the formal garden? That one, I don't know where it is. Is it over here? It's the only door I know of I haven't been in. Locked from the other side. Darn, a uh, formal garden. What door? A. Hmm. How to get to the formal garden? Let's see. Wait. There's a map in here. So, no, wait. That map's just of the house, though. Darn. Thought thought I was onto something. Hello, Ali. Welcome, uh, welcome, and welcome. Thank you so much for the hydrate. I think you were here earlier. Oh, welcome back. Thank you for the hydrate. You're charmed for my gaming caverns. Nice. Uh, where is the formal, the formal garden? Let me hydrate. Not over here. Not over here. Hope you, uh, won at your games. The orchard, which takes me back to the front of the house. Okay. Uh, where is the formal garden? It's over here. 
what's over here? Formal garden? Formal garden! Let's go, we found a chat. Didn't have to Google it. Let's go. There's a duck. There's a duck. Can't pick up that duck, dang it. Is there a duck over here? No. It was a message. Local man reports mystery signal. A gentleman farmer has reported sightings of mysterious blinking lights coming from caves near his home in Shutter. So in words, I, s I was walking my dog and lost track of time a little. It soon became dark and I decided to make the walk back home. On the way to my house is the tiny cave, and as I walked by, I noticed a blinking light pattern cast from the cave entrance. I'm sure it was one of those Morse code messages. When I approached the cave, uh, the light source vanished, and... Nobody was there. I'm convinced that what I saw was the Morse code abbreviation for attention. I'll never forget that one abbreviation, as it was the first message I learned in Morse code. Local authorities have assured our journalists that there had been no recent military activity or exercise in the area, so the mystery remains unsolved. Oh, look at this chat. Be guard. Spring dance shrub. Okay. Got all that chat. This is a real big house. Didn't know I was uh, signing up for such a such a large uh, large walk. Oh, we got a white one. Need to figure out what to do with it, chat. I can't. Okay, we'll put you right here. My sweet Hazel, are you keeping well today? Jimmy's only gone, and broken. Uh, Jimmy's only gone and broken the lawnmower again. If it weren't for my war injury, I wouldn't be letting him loose with the mower. Uh, he said he ran over some hard object down in the long grass near the pond. I had a brief look and couldn't see anything. Sometimes I wonder about that boy's sensibilities. Save me some of your lovely scones. Yours always, Mr. Bennett. Uh, communication over long distance. Uh, the method of communication over long distance must be selected according to the requirements of the scenario. The message contains no sensitive information, or there is no enemy presence within the community. Or within the communication area, an open method of communication such as telegraphy may be used. If open communication is permissible, both receivers may still benefit from the abbreviation of messages. See plate 2 for a table of commonly used military abbreviations using telegraphy and Morse code. Um, closed communication methods rely upon both technology and ingenuity. In the case of secrecy and obfuscation, planning is required and require both parties must acknowledge the method of encryption used. Blah blah blah. Uh, a brief history of long-range military communication. Uh, water telegraphy and torch telegraphy, smoke signals, beacons and pigeons, marie shutter telegraph, radiated telegraph, morse code. So, telegraphy abbreviations and pro signs. KA is attention, message begins. Okay. 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 New materials for garden pots terracotta and granite, sandstone, marble, and obsidian. Ooh. Thank you for the Kevin! How the puzzles been? They've been good. Um... Do do do... Alright, what is this? Flower Growing comp Companion? Tips are- Ooh, hydrangeas! I like hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are beautiful flowers that contain uh, anthocyanin, which is a pigment that can change color depending on the pH levels of its environment. Colors can vary between red, purple, and blue. Nice. Right. So we'll pick our little guy. A little white spring dance shrub up here, I guess. Bird. Hi, bird. Hi, 
open that gate. Set this down right here. Oh! Anthocyanin, research, spring dance, shrub, blue, violet, purple, white. So white, seven. Anthocyanin is seven, art. Oh yes, if anyone wants to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, check out my YouTube, or my thorough on there, my links in chat, and the rest are on my guide. Uh, okay. Soil pH research. Granite, terracotta, obsidian, marble, sandstone. Okay. Uh, something's here and it's not clicking. Something's not clicking with my brain. What is this? Dear Miss Green, I've recently heard of your involvement in the mentoring of aspiring botanists. Botany is a field that demands a thorough understanding of its complexities and will admire your dedication. Saying the blind leading the blind does come to mind. I'll just decide we do hope your endeavors in mentoring will yield some semblance of progress. Sincerely, Professor Thornton. What is this? Dear Mr. Bennett, thank you so much for the lovely bunch of rhubarb from your neighbor's garden. He needn't have sent anything in return for the herbal poultice I gave him for his little one, but I'm grateful all the same. No, he hasn't had, uh, he hasn't the money to fetch the doctor. Since you said he cannot read a note, please send him my thanks when you see him. Faithfully yours, Hazel. Alright. I think we were just down here. No? I keep seeing these. Something about the bird. Oh my god, cha, there's more. We might have- I think- I think, uh, we might end here and we might finish this game on Friday. Alright. Tracking birds with color. Red, blue- oh, we gotta get the birds! We gotta change the color of the flower. I see, I see. Alright. Can we save? Okay. Alright, cha, I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, we've been going for three and a half hours. A little longer than usual. I've been having fun with this game. I've been having fun. I like this game. It was, it was uh, quite the puzzle game. I can't wait to finish it on Friday. Get those last few plants all, all nice and pretty and blooming. Have to see what happens. But yeah, I, I feel like we have at least another hour in this game and uh, we're not going to finish it tonight. So I'm going to call it here. Wow. Do, 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 do. Oh, quick game. Oh, shoot. It did start back up. It did start back up. Close game, I said. Alright. Uh, thanks for streaming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Uh, I think we're gonna go raid. Great church, perhaps? She seems to be playing a comfy game today, but she's also been going for three hours. She might have to go to dinner soon. I'm not sure. I wish I'd known she was streaming. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go read Bunny. Alright, sure. I'm sorry for the scuff at the beginning of stream. Um, I appreciate you guys coming and bearing with me through it. And here are my socials. Good times. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Bogan. I appreciate it. Here is the raid message. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But yeah, chat. Oh, I'm sure I'm just tired. All right, chat. Um, oh, uh, Kyrie. I hope hopefully I said your name correctly. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go rate the bunny. Um, so, ah, I can type. Alright. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Um, okay, chat. See you guys on Thursday with some more Dark Cloud. And then we'll finish this Friday and we'll play something else afterwards. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. See you then, chat. Goodbye, goodbye.